Hello and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we are going to be making this tower. I know it is amazing. Look at it. It's just amazing. <clears throat> and it's actually not that hard to make. So let's, let's get started. Let's go ahead and start off with a cube right there. We're going to change the dimensions by clicking on this corner. We're going to make this 40. Now, <clears throat> this cube, let me just go ahead and move this out of the way so it's not a distraction. Now, let's click back on the cube. And you may not be able to see these numbers over here, but we're going to change the radius to 2. I'm going to click on the number 2 right here. And the steps to 20. Okay, that's all we're going to do with this cube. But this is the one that we're going to replicate over and over again in order to make our tower. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to duplicate this. So Control D. And then we're going to, I'm going to use the arrows to move it over. Now, pay attention to this part right here. <clears throat> Look at the distance right now. They are not separated, right? Also, make sure that you have this constantly selected. I have so many students that say, Mr. Impro, this doesn't work. It's because you click anywhere else and then it stops working. You got to make sure this is always, always selected. By the way, still not enough separation. That's the separation we want. Okay, I'm going to move this so I can get a better angle. <clears throat> We're going to rotate this 15 degrees. 15 degrees, I guess negative 15 is since it's going in that direction. Now with my arrow keys, I'm going to push it back. I believe it's five. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to hit duplicate or control D over and over again until it makes a complete circle. So there it goes. That is too cool. Look at that complete circle. Now you can go ahead and click away. We're good. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to group this. Okay. Make sure that only this is selected and I'm going to hit control G to group. Again, you can click here too. Now we're going to shrink this right now. It's at 20, right? The height of each one of these is 20. We're going to shrink it down to six by holding the shift button and then moving it down to six. There it is. Now I'm going to drag this over. I'm going to drag it. Come on. Oh, um, it's still processing. If you haven't noticed, there's red lines in between the red cubes. <clears throat> I've noticed that in some computers making this particular tower, will slow down your process for some reason. I think it's having all the cubes and each one of these cubes has, you know, uh, that bend right here. And that just increases the amount of faces that are actually on there. And it's kind of a big deal. Okay. So we have this grouped, right? We're good. <clears throat> this is another one of those opportunities or those requirements. We're going to duplicate, but that thing that we duplicate, that group, do not let it change from having the blue lines. Right now we haven't duplicated it, but we're going to. So I'm going to hit control D to duplicate. Or again, you can just click here. I'm going to move this up six millimeters right there. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know how much we're going to rotate this because all I want is for this space to be in the center of this one. I want this block to be right there. You'll see what I'm talking about. So this one, you're going to play it by ear. Ready? Again, we want the top one to always stay blue. I'm going to go outside of this blue circle so that I can get uh, increments of one degree at a time. And let me see one more. That looks about right. Okay, we're good there. Again, we want this to be selected. I'm going to click on this corner right there. I'm going to change this to 100. And here, 100. <clears throat> now I want to make a total of 26 of these. Right now there's two. When I click Control D, it's going to be three. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Now, if you haven't noticed, it looks like <clears throat> our tower will be falling over soon at the first earthquake or tornado. Not cool. So what we're going to do next is subscribe to my videos. Obviously, that's going to fix everything. But once you've done that, you want to click the align tool. So click the letter L. 
<clears throat> then a line here and over here. All right, that's aligned. Good deal. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the top three. Let's see, one. Yeah, let's zoom in here. And I'm going to hit the shift button to select this row and that row. <clears throat> now I'm going to look from above. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make these threes stand out. <clears throat> and I don't want it to go past this bottom row right there, that row right there. So I'm going to hit the shift button. I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to move this up. Too much, right? And too much there. So I'm going to change my increments here to 0.1. This is usually behind my body. It says snap grid and you want to change it from 1 to 0.1. <coughs> okay, let's go back to the top view. I'm going to hit shift. I'm going to hold the shift button and I'll move this down to like 20 to 20.5. Let's see if that worked. Yeah, that's good. All right. Now, because I want to make this without any supports, I want to print it and not have any supports. I'm going to get one of these wedges, the blue wedge over here. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees and I'm going to stay inside of the blue circle. So that way it goes there automatically. Now I'm going to drag this up. Let's zoom out a little bit and I'm going to just drag that with the black arrow. And as you can see, it's not perfect. So I'm just going to drag it pretty close to the wall. Okay. I'm going to click F to focus on there. My goal is to now try to align this to that one right there. So I'm going to move it up again. <clears throat> my goal is to try to align this. I know I went past it. And that's okay because right now I'm going to shrink it. So I'm going to hit the I'm going to hit the shift and I'm going to hold it down while I drag this down. Again, I want it back over here and there. I'm going to do the same thing again. Shift and look over here. See how it, it has to touch that. So don't think that just being close is enough. No, it has to touch that. Still sticking out a lot. So I'm going to hit shift. And then that looks about right. <clears throat> oh, I need to move this up again. And not touching anything. So I'm going to move it with the arrow keys. It's a lot easier to control the movement back. All right. So at this point, it's pretty close. And I'll just do it one more time. I'm going to hit shift, move this down. And then back arrows. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to change the radius here, or I'm sorry, the, the width to 10. Now I'm going to choose one of these blocks to try to copy. I'm going to choose this one right here. And if I zoom in, I see that it's not touching. So I'm going to move this just a little bit higher. Okay. Now I want to make sure that the side or Oops, let me click the letter F. This is actually touching that one and it is, but I want it to be touching even more. That's better. <clears throat> okay, so now I want to touch, I want it to go back just a little bit more so it's directly underneath here. If you haven't noticed, this is not aligned to this one right here. This wedge is not aligned to this block. So I'm going to use this rotate tool or the handle to try to align it the best I can. And that is pretty good, but I think I can do one more degree. Yeah, that's good. I don't think it's centered, so I'm gonna move it with my arrow key to the right. Okay, so this right here, this thin little blue line, I'm gonna to try to replicate this blue line over here. But I'm gonna do the same thing I've been telling you before. We're gonna duplicate this and make sure it stays highlighted. So let's focus over here and we're going to rotate this thing so that it is making that thin blue line we saw over there. So right now I'm going to just use the arrow keys to up and to the left, up and to the left, up and to the left. That looks really good, but it doesn't look centered. And I mean centered compared to this thing right here. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Actually, I think we're good. If you don't have it the way it, it, it is over here, and in fact, I think this one's a little bit thicker, 
I'm going to move this up and over. That looks about the same. And it looks not. Oh, boy. See, here's the thing. If it is off even by a little bit, <clears throat> when you rotate this, it'll be off all the way around. And I have a feeling it's going to be off on this one. But again, it's still selected. I'm going to hit Control D and I'm going to try to make it go all the way around. And this one right here is going to tell us how good we did. And we did really well. Check that out. Looks identical. <clears throat> okay, so because we have that, we don't need any supports to print this. Now, the last step is going to be to add a door and a window. Now, you're going to personalize this to however you want. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is I'm going to make that a transparent or a hole, right? And I'm going to put this on top of here. They're both width of 20, so it should fit perfectly. But I don't want to mess with this. So I'm going to use this tool right here, the work plane tool, and I'm going to put that right here. Let me zoom in so I can see this better. Is this it? Is that right? All right, so I'm going to click here. I'm going to click the letter D. Nope, did not do it correctly. So I'll try it again. I want it to be here. Now I know that works. So I'm going to click the letter D. Did that work? Did I fail again? Oh my goodness. I'm going to go cry later though. I'm really busy right now. Come on. Follow my mouse over here or over there. Oh my goodness, this is being not helpful. How about I do the Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. I'm trying to control all of this. Okay, let's try this again. There's always another way around this. So let's try that right there. I'm going to click the letter D. Ah, exactly what I want. Now I'm going to click the work plane tool, make the work plane the work plane. If I can get this to work again. Come on, you can do it. I believe, oh, oh perfect. Oh, that was much, much more than I thought it was gonna be. Now I'm gonna click the align tool by clicking the letter L. I'm gonna align both of them. It doesn't matter which one go, moves or which one doesn't. That's absolutely fine right there. I'm gonna group these two by selecting both of them and then control G. Again, you can group them by clicking here. So now I'm gonna have the outline for my door, which I'm gonna put right there. And then I'm going to duplicate this. And the last piece of advice I'm going to have for you for this one is when you do make your window, <clears throat> make sure it's facing the right way because this is not going to look right if your window is not facing the right direction. So try to make it so that it's, it's like touching. Yeah, that looks about right. All right, so now I'll just drag it there. And now... We can select everything and group. I have a feeling though, if I hit group, this is going to turn red for a very long time, mostly because I have this one already made. So that's, you know, a lot of information on one Tinkercad page, but I hope you've enjoyed this. Please personalize. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot one little bit. Um, can we, can we undo this? Please. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to have to talk you through this because I have a feeling this is going to be a while. To make these parts of the, the tower, <clears throat> all you're going to do is select this part, the top one, duplicate it. I wonder if it'll let me do that. E no, it won't. So duplicate this one, move it up six, and then when you have it, ungroup it so that it's not considered one object and get rid of every other block. Again, Duplicate this, move it up six or whatever, you know, so that it's touching this one. And then you're going to get rid of every other block and it'll end up looking like this. That's all you had to do. And thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and do all those things that you do to make my life <clears throat> just a little bit better. Because you know what? I'm a teacher and I'm ready for summer school. Look, in this one, it, did, it wasn't six at all. Oh, you know what? And I forgot to add one. One little step and that was too rotated because it looks cooler. Not like that, of course. And why does it keep doing that? I do not know. There it is. Rotate it. That's good. And like I said earlier, you get rid of every other 
one and i think you get the idea thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and please give me some 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 suggestions for what i should build because i am running out of ideas here but i think this is really fun so please give me some suggestions and i will try to make whatever you guys say within a limit obviously all right guys have a good day i'll talk to you later bye